Hello developers. Today we'll explore how to create a custom serializer in GORM that lets us store data in YAML format in our database but work with a map in our Go code. If you are not familiar with serializers, we explained the built-in serializers provided by GORM in episode 10. The link is in the description. Imagine we have a user model struct. It has two main attributes. Email, which is a string, and user settings field. It is a map that looks like this. We will implement a custom serializer for this field to store it in YAML format in the database. The serializer we are going to implement will take a map from the model and convert it to YAML before saving in the database. While data retrieval from the database, the YAML is again converted back to the map. The user sees no difference the data saved and retrieved. There are two GORM functions which we need to implement, value and scan. Here is the GORM documentation about serializer functionality. Here they demonstrate the way the inbuilt serializers can be built. And here they have provided an example of how to implement a custom serializer. In this code we can see they have implemented scan and value methods. Let's copy the code signature from this example and alter it to suit our use case. Let's create a new file for the serializer code, yaml serializer.go. To save time, I am pasting the signature of the methods and structure required for serializer implementation. To achieve our goal, we have defined a custom data type yaml map. This type will implement the scan and value interfaces to allow GORM to interact with it correctly. The value method will convert our map into a YAML string before storing it in the database. The scan method will take care of deserializing the stored YAML back into our map. Let's implement the value function. If the value of the field to be serialized is nil, we return nil for both data and error. Otherwise, we create YAML using the Marshall method. As the Marshall function return the marshaled bytes and error, we can return the same as it matches the signature of the method. Now let's move to the scan method implementation. Here, db value argument represents the data of the field to be deserialized. First, check if its value is nil. If so, the deserialized value is nil too and there is no error, so return nil. We need to convert this data to YAML. Before doing so, we need to first convert it to bytes. If there has been an error, return the error. We create this variable to retrieve the map back from YAML. Now, we unmarshal the data to the variable m. If this operation has an error, return the error. Set the unmarshaled data and return nil, which means no error. Looks like I made a mistake here. This should be a map, not an interface. How a custom serializer code is complete. Now let's use it in an example. Let's go to main.go. To save some time, I will paste the code here. This is the model structure user. It has three columns. ID, email, and user settings. The data type of this field is YAML map, the one we just created. Here we created a DB connection and a method to make the connection. Next is the database migration function. In the main function, we call these functions. Here we create a new instance of user struct. We fill the email field and user settings. User settings field is of type WAML map. Next, this user entry is inserted into the database. Here we retrieve the same record and then print it to check if the data retrieved is in correct format. Let's run the program. 
The fetched record is printed here, and as we can see here, the user settings field is a map. Now, we will check the database to see if the user settings field is a YAML. Yes, it is stored as YAML here. Thank you for joining us. If you found this episode helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more advanced GORM and Go-related content. Happy coding!